Hello, can you hear me? Good morning. Yeah. Yeah. I will. I will try to share my screen. Um, could you see the presentation? Yes. Yes. Yes, and it's running. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, the organization for to for invite uh, Barcelona to this interesting uh, webinar. Uh, well, as you may know, Barcelona is a municipality, is a city very that it's very dense. So uh, we have uh, this 15-minute visit uh, vision, no? That Carlos Moreno said, uh, we uh, as we are a little city and dense, we have uh, this proximity very uh, in a very natural way, no? But uh, now uh, we, the real city is this that that metropolitan city, and our city is uh, almost complete. So we have two 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 challenges for for, for me. Uh, we have uh, in two, two challenges that are uh, on one hand how to deal with this metropolitan mobility that I think that I am sure that Maite Perez will uh, talk about it. And the other, and, and on the other hand, uh, we have this almost completed city, and we have to do it more efficient, and in terms of uses, no, in terms of mobility, in terms of the use of the space, no, we have this city that it that is done, and but we have some problems, no, that are consequences of the, this highest density. We have this uh, high level of pollution. Uh, also problems with the noise. Also, we have uh, problems with the temperature. No? We have four degrees more uh, for the uh, greenhouse effect. Also, we have uh, this lack of uh, green areas because we are so so dense. And in there are some areas in in the city that we are we have for for example in in a Shampla that we only have two square meters for inhabitants. So it's uh, we have problems no, with this uh, crowded uh, and so demanded public space. So we have to regenerate this city. You know? We have to make it more efficient, more, uh, and with this uh, metabolism that Carlos Moreno said, you know? how, to, how we use this city, because we cannot construct a new city and new spaces. We have to reprogram uh, Barcelona putting more bicycle, putting more public transport, putting more green, no? And having more uses in the city. In January, in, in 2020, 20, uh, Barcelona has declared the climate emergency because also we have, we are in, in another new global context that we have to face, all the, all the cities we have to face, and we have to face it in a three, in, in these three scales, no, in a global scale, in also in this urban and metropolitan scale, but also in human scale, we have to take care of this uh, human scale and this uh, um, city of proximity, no, this quotidianian uh, life, and we are working every project with these three axes, no, natural, nature, putting nature in every project that we have that we are facing proximity and also collaboration, but because it's important to do it with the people, with the citizenship, because uh, it's like a change of habits. So it's important to get it, get them involved. So uh, we have um, now uh, over the table these two projects, big projects, super block projects, uh, super block uh, Barcelona, and let's protect the school. Today, I will only talk about super block. As you may know, this is the, the model no? that, that uh, it tries to, to uh, remove the through traffic on, in some streets to have more uh, green, to have more, street, more streets uh, that uh, are not used for the, only for the mobility, but are used for other uses. No? Uh, and we have tested in some areas in the city, the yellow ones have uh, 
works done that have public transformation. The most known is this one, no? the super block of Poblano, Poblano super block that, that, that the first time uh, we have uh, changed the, the, the way of the, no? the, the, this mobility, this mobility uh, pat pattern uh, to test some uh, new urban furniture and to have some debates of how, what are the uses that we hope to, to have in the public space that are not only mobility, no? We, we can play, we can uh, make, uh, we can buy, we can make a lot of, we could get rest, uh, we can uh, make a lot of things. And after that, after this hard debate and after the first phase that it was very uh, critical or very, uh, it has a very controversial uh, time, um, we have uh, made this uh, tactical urbanism and this uh, urban transformation that now it's uh, very uh, recognized and, and we have uh, success. No? At the same time, we were uh, implementing the super block in San Antonio and we have learned, we were learning from, from problem now and here we uh, center with uh, the actions with the, these benefits, with these uh, green streets that we gone, we won for for the people. So, and we uh, work a lot with the neighborhood. So, uh, for me, it was more uh, easy to implement because uh, we were working a lot with the people of the area. So, for me, this uh, the, the participation is crucial in all these kind of transformations. And the, we center uh, the transformation in the green, uh, in the green streets, and these uh, these benefits that the people could uh, feel in her schemes, no, and 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 with and, and use this this space that uh, they want. Uh, as a result, we have discovered no a new uses of these streets. For example, in Sant Antoni, every uh, afternoon we have these chess uh, players that we cannot imagine no? that, that the, these uses can be felt in the, in the streets. So now it's the time of scale up, no? scale up this model that we have tested in some areas and to uh, create a new environmental infrastructure to create this uh, new vision of green streets through all the city. Um, it's a little bit different uh, the, the implementation strategy. No, we have uh, done uh, with by areas, no, uh, in in the past, but we set, we think that now that we are we want to implement it in, in the whole city, we we have to focus in the, this green access and these uh, structural uh, changes because if we uh, implement in this. Uh, Areas, no closed areas. The people said felt that you are free, you are out, or, or you are inside, or you are, are outside. I think that that feeling in the city it's not good, no, to be outside or on inside. And also in a grid, when you are uh, working in a in a grid, if you work like this in little areas, you are um, um, affecting. In a, low, in a global way, no, you are cutting this street, but you are only acting and you have only the benefits in a local way. So I think that in a grid and when you have a more scale area to, to act, it's better to, to act like this. No, I think that super blocks, it has to be a model that it has to be flexible and adaptable in, in every uh, urban tissue and, and also in, in urban, in every poor, uh, social tissue. So uh, for us, these uh, green streets are uh, one grid more of, of the mobility. No, We have to uh, put in order all these uh, mobilities, kind of mobilities. And uh, we now we are centering in a Champla, that it's the place no, of the city that we have the Mm, worst uh, qual environmental quality uh, indicators. We have uh, we have uh, a lot of cars crossing the the center of the of the city more than the the two roundabouts. So 
uh, we have to uh, remove this gas because they uh, causes a lot of uh, problems of contamination and noise in the in the center of the city. But it's the city, it's the part of the city that has the, the better accessibility in public transport. So we have this opportunity to change this mobility. So the project or the proposal is to, to change these 21 streets from the oldest, all the city center, no? from the all the Champlain. In, a, in an urban tissue that we don't have a, a green spaces to want these uh, green streets to have more green spaces. Uh, this is the street that was designed no, by Sarda uh, at, uh, in the 20, wide, uh, 20 meters wide in the city, but now it's plenty of cars. Uh, one, the cities that we want, the, the street that we want in the future is th that one, no, with uh, none of the users, with uh, this pedestrian play space, with play area, with this environmental infrastructure and the places that they were across, uh, I we, we imagine that are that will be new squares in the in the in the city, no? from a junction to, to a square, no? avoiding this this continuity for the for the cars. So uh, at the beginning we, we have uh, made uh, this an international competition for this first. Uh, four axes and four uh, squares, um, and this 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 is the the project that has won. That uh, the the lemma or uh, the name of this project was uh, working from the the center. That it's uh, like a declaration, no? That like a principal declaration. I don't know how to say. It. And the the squares are the the spots where where the green has uh, more uh, presence. And we have worked with these eight uh, teams and, and the municipality uh, teams, uh, which is this new model no? of the new this uh, green street. And for me, the, the thing that it's more important that uh, um, it's this, this uh, shared mobility, no? this, um, that the, the pedestrian has the absolute priority. But also the green, no, the all this uh, work with the subsoil to have the roots more uh, strong and to have the more shade in in our street that we will need in the future, no. So this is the the project that we we began to construct this uh, summer uh, for this for for uh, for our first access, but. It is the model for these 21 streets of the city. Also, we have these indicators that Carlos Moreno talked that uh, are uh, to evaluate not only this uh, public space and this uh, um, habitability, but also uh, this environmental quality and also this social economic dynamics that are uh, that maybe could change or or not. That we have to to preserve these um, local uh, uh, local sh shops and and everything. And so we we want to to evaluate and to finish uh, to say that this is a city project that it's very important that the neighbors have uh, feel and felt involved involved uh, with the projects. For us, it's very important to to learn and to hear about all the people and also vulnerable people. For example, this is a, a, a model for blind people that because they are very fear about this kind of streets. So they, they uh, want to understand. So we built this, this uh, model for, for them. Uh, so but, mm, it's very important to, to to hear them, so that's why we have done this uh, the CDM, no? that it's a, a digital platform for the citizen participation, and also we have this participatory budget that Carlos Moreno said also. And in last year, uh, a lot of a lot of projects that uh, are regarding super blocks were the most voted projects. So we think that that the people. Are um, hope, no, are, are expecting that his uh, streets uh, would change like in, in this in this way. 
And as Carlos, I finish with uh, this uh, World Congress that, that will be held in Barcelona in 2026, uh, where uh, we hope to see you, or even before. But uh, in this pro Congress, uh, we would like to talk uh, with about the, the challenges that the cities are facing in the 21st century through the uh, urbanism and architecture. So we will see you there. And that's all. Thank you very much. And uh, I hope that uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can ask, we can talk uh, more later.